And fingers crossed. Okay. Let's see if this is working. <laughs> If I got sound, it looks like I do. Okay, let me find the chat. What is my chat in the bubble? <laughs> Hi guys. Okay, I gotta pop out chat. Where's the pop out? Uh -oh. What happened to the pop out part? Okay, for some reason the screen is not shrinking. Okay, pop out. There it is. Okay, now move it over. Get all these technical things out of the way. Come on, chat. There you go. Oh yeah, sorry. I the microphone. I'm gonna have to talk up. I guess it's it didn't take the mic the right microphone this morning. I usually use the one on the camera, but it wasn't working. Let me see if I can do anything about that over here. No, nope, apparently not. Once it starts, that's it. Yeah, I'll have to yell, I guess. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, just not cooperating with me this morning. Having a few technical issues. Trying to get it worked out. I got this big pile of stuff on the desk and I'm going to have to clean it off here in a minute. Um, but it makes a nice picture. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to get my screen set up. Alright, now let me get the chat back in the right place. Let's see. Oops. Uh -oh. Okay. All right, there, I think. I think I've got it, let's see. Okay, now let me get the desk reconfigured here. Move my piece of cheese. <laughs> I gotta turn the computer around to the other side. on its little grippy mat, and then I've got to put the fan on it. Okay, hold on. Technical issues here, people. <laughs> Setting up always takes a while because I can't really do anything until I turn the camera on. So it's like, uh, yeah. And there's no way to, you know, edit this, so no editing. All right, I've got the, I have to turn the fan on the computer because it's overheats. Stupid thing still overheats. So, okay. How, how is this the sound? Can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. Move the keyboard, the mouse up here. Alright, now I'm going to start doing this stuff. How's the sound? Let me know if you can hear. Why did it mess the sound up? The chat hasn't moved. Uh oh. Hello, hello. Anybody? mess something up. Can you hear me?
Okay, people. Here or not, I'm going to start. <laughs> All right, I've got my glass mat down here. To hopefully keep the camera focused when I don't have anything. I had to roll back the uh, craft sheet that was, I had the whole craft sheet that covers my whole desk, whole countertop here, and um, it was causing me no end of static problems with my beads for the diamond painting, and so I had to roll it back out of the way. And then, of course, it leaves a stark white desk, and the camera doesn't like that. It, it unfocuses. So I thought, no, oh, let's use the craft, the um, glass mat and see if that keeps the focus, I hope. So, uh, okay, I want to document that I got all of these Tim Holtz things. Um, this has been, let's see, over the last week. And um, these 3D texture fades, I really don't know what these are all about, but I'm going to learn. Um, I got these two. This is a wood grain texture. I want to do the little houses, the, the village dwellings, and the manor house, and I don't know what these things are called, but it's a Tim Holtz village set. You know, you cut them out and then you build them. Um, so I'm, I saw someone use this, and I said, oh, I don't have that. <laughs> so I'm going to give it a try. And it, it, it looks different than the usual texture fades, it looks different than those, so it, it feels stiffer for some reason. So I'm going to see, well I can't even get the plastic because I'm stuck. Let's try this. Okay, my chat is frozen or something, because, you know, the last thing I see is Eileen was saying scream at us. Well, let me see what's going on here chat. I don't know. I'm going to close it and start it up again because I don't know if it's messed up. Or... Yeah, see it messed up. Okay, hold on. Let me reopen it or re un whatever you call it. Okay. Hi guys. <laughs> Couldn't see you. <laughs> My chat's messed up. All right. Help out chat. Okay, we're trying it again. Move it back over and I got to redo everything on the screen. Okay, hold on. Oh, this takes a minute. Come on, there's my chat. Okay, now I can see you guys. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> now I can see you. Okay, um, the sound is bad. I'm sorry. I couldn't get it to accept the, the camera microphone, so I'm having to yell at the laptop. It wouldn't, I don't know what's going on with this thing. Sometimes it's, I don't know, it, just, it makes me nuts. Sometimes it just does whatever it wants to do, and I got no say in it. <laughs> so, there we go. Can't do anything about that. Okay. There. Now. Okay, how is it now? I'm, I'm, call, I'm talking really loud. So, how is it now? Is my chat going to work? Okay, I see it moving. All right, chat's moving. Janet just posted something. Okay. So, okay, no politics, people, come on. This is a fun stream. Good news, not bad stuff. Okay, bad sound, there's a background sound. Oh, you know what it is? It's my fan because it's next to the computer. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay, let me turn it off. I don't know how long I can stream. Okay, see if that's any better. I don't think it's going to let me change the microphone. Let me try over here. Okay, hold on. That was better? Okay, hold on just a second. Let me see if I can get um, the sound to do anything better than it's doing, but it's it seems to... Okay. Okay. I, I'll just have to turn it off, and we'll hope for the best. If this thing gets too hot, then... Um, It'll let me know. Otherwise, I think it'll be okay. <laughs> okay, you can hear now. All right, let's give this a shot and uh, do without the fan and see what happens. Okay. All right. Anyway, hi guys. <laughs> um. Okay. So I went Tim Holtz crazy 
um, I was so behind on all the shopping. Oh, look at that. Wow. Whoa. This is amazing. Oh my God. I know you guys can't see this texture. This is really deep. Okay. You can see how thick this, this thing is. Okay. Let's see, let me get my fingers up. See how thick it is? Oh my goodness. Okay. It's about half that size over here on this side, but it's really, really textured. Yeah, it's really textured. Let me see if I can if I can tilt it to the light. Maybe you can see. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be great. Oh man. I may have to play with this before the day's over. We're gonna talk about planners first, but I oh I just had to look at that. That is cool. Wow. That's my first 3D one. So yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Very awesome. Let me get this basket over here. Oh, I guess I can move the mouse now. Put him over here. Okay. Oh, those are going to be awesome. And I got the first set of the Distress Oxides. I've not had these before. Um, I, there was a, a website recently. Um, she did some rust using these. And so I made sure I had everything that she used. So... Most of them came, I only had to buy one extra. Let's see, which one was it? Um, I think I had to buy frayed burlap because it wasn't in the set. But then otherwise, this set had everything she used. And I'll have to tweet you guys the, uh, um, the blog that this was on. But awesome. So I have 13 of these now. I don't know where I'm going to put them because my ink tower is full. <laughs> I guess they'll have to go in the box or a drawer. Okay, so I'm going to move these aside. Four more sets. Oh, no. Uh-uh. This is probably going to be the only set that I get. If I need anything else, it'll be individual. Okay, these are Halloween things. Um, I did not have this. And um, I like to make tags. And so I think the... Um, this is was a little... It matched, I think this goes with all the other ones I have of his that are like this. This is the same size. So that would be good for Halloween. And then this is the mummy cloth, which is little strips. Of, it looks kind of like cheesecloth, but it's loosely, it's much more loosely woven. Um, and it's not woven double-stranded, it's single-stranded. And people were saying nice things about this stuff. And, of course, it's going to go away soon. So I thought I would go ahead and and um, pick up a package of that because there was something I wanted to do with that. Now, today, Amazon is going to be bringing me a whole slew of Tim Holtz stuff. I got a lot more of the dies. Um, I didn't have all of the village dies. I only had four sets of village dies. And so I had the manor. The dwelling, um, the steeple, uh, the steeple one, and um, I forgot what the other one is. Anyway, I only had four, and so I completed my set and got all the rest of the ones I wanted. So I also have I got the um, the brownstone, which is a little tall house. It's the taller one. The dwelling is short, and the brownstone is taller. And of course, the manor house is you know taller than that. But that that's the main. You know, main one I wanted, but I got all of the rest of those. Um, so I'm gonna be getting that today. I don't know if it'll come while I'm tweeting. I mean, while I'm <laughs> tweeting, while I'm streaming. But um, we can cross our fingers on that. Don't know. I have to wait and see what happens. Okay. So the main goal today is to talk about planners. Okay. Now, in the past, for the past couple of years, I have used. Um, this one here, um, and I I started out you know really well, and I I started out doing all the little zentangle doodles, you know for the days, but I was finding that I was not using the daily pages. I was only using the full layout calendar, so I took all the rest of the pages out and put them aside, and just put in all the months. So I only use, you know, I'm, I'm not writing very much right now. So, you know, I thought, well, I would do this. So this is a happy planner. 
um, it has the disk system. Okay, now this thing bothers me because I can't turn the pages quickly. Um, I mean, it was fun. Okay, this is the, you know, it, it, it was fun, but I don't really enjoy doing it. Um, so, I mean, I, it's, oh, it's making me crazy. I mean, I like the fact that I can, you know, insert stuff, but like I said, I'm just not, I mean, yeah, it's gorgeous, but I'm just not enjoying doing it. And it, like, it took me, you know, most of this year to say, okay, I'm really not enjoying this thing because I'm having to flip these pages and they're not cooperating with me. And of course, the bigger it gets, the worse that is. So the one last year, I left all the pages in and, you know, I tried to, to you know, be fancy and everything, but I don't know, it just wasn't working this year. So it's really skinny this year and I'm not even, I mean, that's, this is all pockets and things. So the, the basics of it is just really, really skinny <laughs> with just the calendar, just the monthly calendar, you know, based into it. So. I have decided I'm going to go back to what I started with. I mean, I went to, you know, when um, Ray Missing Men and, and, and oh, I'm not pronouncing that right. And the other three girls, the, there was three of them that was doing the, the daily planner. Um, and I tried that too. That was okay, but the second year didn't quite work out. And so I was just, you know, tired of trying different things. So I'm going to go back to the roots of when I started this. Okay. So what I started with, oh no, where did I put him? Oh, he's right here at my side. Okay. This is a Moleskina. Okay. This is what I started with. And I've always kept some kind of journaling, but I've never done, I had never done like an art kind of journaling. It was just writing. Okay, well, in 2006, it was when I first encountered the words art journal. Okay, that's when things happen. Okay, so <laughs> this is what I started with. So I'm um, gluing things and sketching and doing, you know, trying to do, because I had seen Tisha Moore. Okay. I had seen Tisha Moore's work because she was, she's the queen of art journaling. She's got us all started with this. And so I'm trying, you know, all these different things of sketching the, the writing, the words on angles and, and, you know, all of this kind of thing. Um, and documenting things that were happening. Um, this one here, the car alarm across the street was going off and nobody was home. And uh, yeah, somebody called the cops. It wasn't me. But <laughs> I would have <laughs> had they not shown up eventually. That was making me crazy. It's right across the road. Yikes. So, and sketching and, and playing with, you know, just little things. And then, of course, I saw um, Danny um, sketch every day, you know, and he had a list. I can't remember what his list. I, this escapes me right now, but y'all know who I'm talking about. Um, he had a couple of books come out and, and all that since then. So anyway, he was sketching every day. So they, then I, I found that, um, now this was all before I hooked up with you guys. This was all before I found the community that we're in now. And, um, so this is, this here, I was trying watercolor. This is a leaf from outside. I put it on there with packing tape. I stamped with an actual feather. So I was just trying all kinds of things. And of course, the old post-it notes that stuck in there. All kinds of things. And the trips I took. I took a class. Um, this is my first portrait class. This was the photograph. And this was my piece that I got done during class. Um, I don't think I ever finished it. But uh, we had to draw. We couldn't trace. We, drew, we had to draw. So, yeah. And this was, uh, mom went with me, and uh, this was some of the food we had. Uh, but there's there's all kinds of, you know, like here's a 
you know, thing I stuck in there. Just all kinds of things going on. And, you know, it was fun. I really like this format. I really, really like this format. Um, yeah, I took a picture of a picture I made and, and, you know, a collage I did and stuck it in there. I mean, it's just so many things. They were putting carpet in the bedroom and all the stuff was in the kitchen. <laughs> just my Christmas list is even in here. Um, yeah, so, so many, many things. I, I covered the, the faces of the people because I don't have permission to show them on camera. So. See, Dairy Queen. See, this is before diabetic. This <laughs> Terry Queen ice cream. Oh, yeah. And I don't know why this is in here. Probably because I needed this page. This is a, a knitting pattern. Okay. Knitting pattern on that. That's probably why that's marked. And there's just all kinds. Of, I mean, it's just use some stencils. Lots of writing. And see, I, I still, I started putting the whole month in here and highlighting things that happen. So this is really easy and quick for me to find things. Like, I know something happened on such and such a day when, you know, I, I can approximate, you know, when to start looking for it. And then I can find it easily this way. So I'm going back, definitely going back to that. Just little tiny sketches. Sometimes it's just um, nothing really going on. But, you know, like a pencil sketch, of, you know, washer and dryer and, you know, just, <laughs> you know stuff like that but this is this whole book is just full of you know like photos and and it's kind of a daily journal but it's more than that so it's I kind of combined it with sketchbooks see I was testing out charcoal um what was this um uh, I don't know I was doing a test I can't remember why Rocky's there we must have gone to see a see something I don't remember no idea at this point um, without reading the whole thing. So there's just, I mean, just, you know, let me go a little quicker. Sketch it. And I put the date at the top, you know, it's just wherever it goes. So there's just so many things. And sometimes I was going to do uh, something else and it didn't happen. But I left the space. So it could have happened. Like here, see. Could have happened and I could have put a picture there and you know things like that but see how busy <laughs> it gets around here sometimes it's crazy you know, Martin house I started knitting socks in 2007 which is what we're into now I started knitting socks the grand girls were making things for each other got some new bushes there's the cat more post-its of course shoes I liked I never could find them uh, knitting patterns, knitting ideas, just all kinds of, of really cool things. Okay, so this year I have a new one. I've already labeled it. My Sharpie would not write on this. This is not a Moleskina. This is a handbook. I don't even know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. Handbook. I do not like the cover. It's a fabric cover. I do not like the paper. I, yeah, I really don't like the paper in it. It's it's um, spongy paper. So, but I had a couple of these. One is a landscape format that's a strict sketchbook, and this one was still sitting in the closet. It's been sitting in the closet because I don't like the paper. So I figure, okay, let's do a real journal with this. Okay, so I haven't put my name or anything in it yet, but I will. So this is my year calendar for 2019. So this is the whole year. And I went to calendar-12.com. Okay, let me see if I can get that up there for you. There, calendar-12.com. Okay. They have a really nice um, website engine. And you can get so many, many formats to this. Um, mine starts with Monday and has the weekend together. I really, really like that idea. Keeping the weekend together. That way I don't have to write things twice on each end. When you're doing something on the weekend, you just write it once. Yeah. 
Um, and this is, uh, I'm going to start with November because I'm really tired of that other thing. Um, so here's, here's my November. Uh, let me make sure there's no, nothing in here you shouldn't see. No, we're good. <laughs> okay. And see, here's the weekend together. I like having the weekend together and I like that this is highlighted. So it sticks out. Okay. So it, it makes it easier for me. Okay. So it's, I just love this way. Love it, love it, love it. And of course, I have to start out with all the post notes. Okay, I don't know exactly what's on here, uh, but there's a page of post it notes here that um, I had on the desk. And so I decided to go ahead and stick those in here. So, see, you, you can do anything. This is, is more than a, a um, let's say it's more than a sketchbook, it's more than a journal. It's, it's, and it's, it's kind of like, well, you just do what you want and you take up as much space as you need. Okay. Uh, it's kind of like a bullet journal in that respect where I can put in anything I want to. I can take up as many pages. If I want to write three pages worth of stuff about the same day, I can. Um, it's a stitched book so that if I need, if it gets too fat, I have one that's really, really fluffy and the covers are bending in like this. <laughs> So you could take out center pages every, you know, you could pull out the, the center of your stitching. You know, you could pull that out and in and, and however many, you know, spaces you needed to flatten it out. But um, I, I don't know. I may or may not do that. I really don't know. But anyway, that's what I plan to do. So I have all my, all my months printed out. And for this one, in this particular book, I printed them at 75%. Now, I tried with the, I tried one at 80%, but it was a little too big. And it would make the crease right down the middle of these days. And that is really hard to write in. So I like it where the crease is right on that line. But I printed them out at 75% to get it that way. It just happened to work out. So that was good. But anyway, so I have one that's a little bit bigger, but I'll deal with it. It's just February. I don't usually have a whole lot of stuff going on in February. But yeah, this, it's really, really nice. So I have all of my, so here's December. So that goes in next, but I'm not putting it in until I'm finished with November because I don't know how many pages I'm going to use. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I may put a ton of pictures in here from, from Thanksgiving. Or from the shows we go to. I, I mean, there's just no telling how many pages I'll use. So I'm going to wait. I'll keep these in a file. See, I've got them all printed and all cut. And so all I have to do is stick them in. And I was using my um, tape gun to stick them in. You can use um, glue stick if you want to. It doesn't really matter. But when I use a tape gun, I tape one side in first. Then I put the tape on other part of the page and then I closed the book to stick it down and that made the best crease I've done that before that's made the best crease and you don't have any ripping and, and stuff going on so that's my tip for that um so this is this is what's gonna what's gonna be my journal and I think from now on I'm gonna quit trying other things and just stick with what I love because I love how this works I've got eight of these um from before before i started trying that documented um i think it was what documented journal was that what it's called i know ray and i can't remember who else did it there were two other women that did it and anyway, y'all know what i'm talking about documented life oh maybe it was documented life maybe that was it yeah maybe that was it okay so anyway um on my journey using this, and let me put this up here because I want to get my overhead lights are reflecting. So I'm going to set this on the reflections that you see. Okay, there. Um, this is my leather faux dory that I made, but I made it the size more like a Moleskina size. Uh, it's a little bit bigger, but that's okay. And then, of course, I've got all of my uh, divisions in here. And I'm using the half size folders, uh, although I cut I cut the tab on this one so I could have an extra folder. See, here's the other part. 
another one like that. So I have an extra one, but these you can get at the office supply. They're like the half size folders. Um, and they make great covers for your um, inserts. Okay. They make great covers for your inserts. I even stuck a notepad in this one. See? <laughs> but, and I was, you know, you have all the like recipes and, and, you know, lists and samples of, of techniques and just all, I mean, just whatever um, in the signature. So this was bullet journal. So I, I had bought two notebooks, the same size, the Moleskine size for bullet journals where they have the grid. Okay. This is gridded if you can't see. Yeah, that's gridded. Um, but I took them apart because I, I need I wanted the signatures so they were stitched and so I took the signatures apart and so I'm using them in here for notes and things so this is not this is not a planner this is for sketching for collage see I've got uh, notes uh, craft notes um, see diamond painting notes um, all the you know this kind of stuff goes in here and um oh my pen holder came off i have to fix it again but it's a quote page there's you know shopping list there's all kinds of things in here and then here's here's a section that is for collage and so i've got um this one is made of the um vellum bristol from strathmore that's what that i love to collage on that stuff so but See, I got started with some things in here, so that's just clipped in for now. But see, there's all this, all these things, and I've got a coloring one that a section that can go in here. But it's kind of fat, so I didn't put it all in there. But um, anyway, this stays on my desk usually. If I go out, sometimes it comes with me. It just depends on what I'm doing and where I'm going. And then I've got all of my little stencils that I got um, not too long ago. I mean, you guys have. You know, I'll see these. So this is in here. This sits on my desk. And this is an old, old album I had. I just you know, put this on the cover. And instead of photographs. Oh, that's where that little pin went. It was loose and I wondered where that went. Okay. I have a whole bunch of them, but it just never got with the others. <laughs> it's sitting loose. So I have that. And then I have all of this stuff from before. Okay, so all of this, like from the Happy Planner, I have a whole bunch of stickers. I mean, this is just a ton of stuff. Um, so what I have, so, okay, so basically, I have a tote bag. Okay, I'm, I'm going to slip it over here. Okay, this is full. I've taken stuff out. This is usually full and it sits on the shelf in the closet. And this is all the extra supplies. There's extra pages and things for the, the other. Um, see, here's the pages I took out, the daily pages I took out. But see, all of this is here. And I will eventually do something with it. If I don't make a journal, you know, a daily journal, I can use it to art on. And, you know, and just, just make an art notebook, you know, out of this. And it doesn't really matter. I mean, there's just... I think Joggles uh, was using the disc bound system for, for um, sketchbooks and journals. I think I saw them do that. So yeah, I could do that with that paper. I could just, you know, cover it, gesso over it, glue on it, collage on it, whatever. But like I said, I have a ton of stickers of all sorts. And some of these were from the, I even tried an Erin Condren um, journal. And it's wire bound. I didn't like it. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't really like it. But I have stickers and stuff from that. And I love this one. This has so many neat stickers in it. It's just it's really, really cool. And so I've used some. I haven't. So, But it's really fun. Now my problem was I kept some of this stuff put away when it needs to be out where I can see it. <laughs> more stickers just miscellaneous things okay so, and, but this stuff stays in this bag the tote bag which i'm gonna have to re reorganize when i get done here and then i started using i got a cricut and i started making my own stickers 
on the Cricut. And yes, that was fun, but you can only make so many stickers before you've got too many. Um, yeah, so. Sometimes you just get too many things and, you know, you got left over. So the following year, you don't have to print. You can go back to the, the holiday or whatever it was, like fall. And I still have a whole lot of fall because I love fall. My favorite time of year is fall. And so, of course, I made a lot of stickers and I still have stickers. So I don't need to print any fall stickers this year because I have some. Christmas stickers. I don't need to print those either. Here's December. Okay. Um. And these can be used in this format just as if it was a daily journal. Just as if. So you can stick these anywhere you want. You can even make, I could even make, uh, you know, print the, the daily pages and stick them in there if I wanted to. I don't know that I'll do that, but see there's even January and there's spring. So I still have, and here's, you know, letters, numbers, and water trackers, and, you know, all kinds of things like that. Um, and this, this was a bare, actually, I don't even think this has any, oh, uh, yeah, uh, graphic 45. So, yeah, this was one of those bare notebooks. I've got, I think it was a set of two. Uh, let me see what the other one is. Yeah, okay, so anyway, but I've got lots and lots of stickers lots of things going on and of course i have lots of washi tape on cards that's in a book let me see what that is um yeah okay this time so i'm re oops little avalanche there i'm rearranging the studio which is taking forever because i can only do a little at a time before my body gives out and says okay sit down <laughs> So yes, yeah, see here's, and I've taken out some in there with projects, but see I've round all my washi tape on cards. Well, I, okay, let me take that back. This is not all my washi tape. This is most of my washi tape. I have a whole drawer that is full of washi tape. I'll pull that out real quick to show you. This is right here. Okay, I have a whole organized drawer little washi tape and I'm not allowed to buy any washi tape because I don't have any space. If I have space I can buy washi tape. Otherwise, nope, because this is it. This is all I'm allowed. I've got no place else to put it. <laughs> oh, and the, there's um see this caution tape right here? The caution tape. I don't know where the roll is. Oh yes I do. <laughs> we had we had a boil water thing going on. It had rained so much that the water was gross. And so they wanted us to boil water for like a week or almost a week. And boy, that was a pita. Oh, man. I hope they don't tell us to do that again. I think that's the first time that's happened here. But gee whiz. And of course, you go to the store and they didn't have any water. <laughs> So the next city over had to bring us water. <laughs> oh, blow the nose again. All right. So anyway, I had this caution tape on my refrigerator. I turned off the ice maker and I didn't want to run any of the nasty water through my refrigerator. And so I had the caution tape across the dispenser, you know, the outside dispenser on the door. And I had a piece on the dishwasher don't use the dishwasher because I didn't want, to, didn't want to run that yucky water through there. So this has yet to get back in the drawer because I wanted to rewind that the scraps on there back on the roll. But anyway, that's my washi tape story there. But, but it was funny walking the kitchen and automatically go to the ice dispenser. Right? Oh, oh, tape is there. Can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Can't do that. <laughs> Okay, and so this one, uh, I have a box that has a lot of this kind of stuff in there too, but this notebook, whoops, oh crap, the lanch, whoopsie, hello, come on, no, 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 <laughs> all right, 
Jeez, things fall over. Okay, so this one has a lot of the um, page protectors. Uh, some I've made, some I bought, um, and some came with this. Um, let me see, public essays, simplestories.com. Okay, I've forgotten what company Simple Stories is. You guys might, might know. But so I have all of these things that are small that can be used in a journal or on tags. Now, I bought a whole bunch of them to use tags because I used to do tag swaps. And, you know, there's like these little ATC sized envelopes. You know, it's, they're really cute. Um, but they're, they're in here and they're safe. And they're where I can get to them. And I can't put them get that back in there now. But like this was a set or something. And um, there's some tags. There's some other kind of envelopes. There's some little tiny folders, you know, for ATCs. So there's all kinds of. I used to do tag swaps and ATC swaps. Haven't done it in a really long time. But there's just all kinds of things stuck in here. Um, there's drywall tape. I've got a whole roll of that left over from the construction when we, when we moved back in here um, and uh, just all kinds of scraps and cutouts and there's even some smash book um, books <laughs> and some graphic 45s and little tiny envelopes that came with something I can't remember what that was in but I saved those and then these of course are ATC sized and and uh, three by fours for um, the um, Heidi shop notebook stuff so but there's all I mean just so I can pull from any of this to put into my daily journal any of this stuff and I have tons of this kind of stuff I'll never use it all <laughs> there's just so much of it this goes on and on and on uh, so Going on that, that calendar site, they have the full month, they have the year, they have um, this one I'm going to cut and make. Um, let me grab my other little calendar over here. Okay, so this here, I know y'all can't see it because it's it stands up. Okay, so it's a little antique typewriter. Uh, uh, with a, a stand okay so it's got this wire loop thing that you you know put your stuff on you put photographs I think what it's originally for but this I have um, the monthly calendar so October November and December the current month goes here the previous month goes here and of course the next month is is on this side now it's not always in this format but this is always here this is here and it's not glued or anything it's all clipped and um, over time I've had to add cardstock to this um, holder because this little wire thing is getting stretched out but I keep adding cardstock it still works it still functions um, um, this is uh, of course a um, tangle in progress so but there's so I guess you can see it from both sides if you want but it, it goes in here and it sits on my desk and it's easy for me to see um, what has been and what's coming up, you know, like what day I need to make an appointment or, you know, something like that. So that's, that's what I do here. And what I have done is taken uh, the freebie calendars you get sometimes in the, in the mail for advertising. They'll send you these little calendars and they're like a little pad, you know, and you rip one off the next month, you know, you rip them off. Okay, so I recycled and it's like making a perpetual calendar almost. So I've recycled, see, the previous uh, previous years. And I think I've done this for three years now with these same little things. So this year I'm going to do brand new. I'm going to make my own little pad and put it right here. Okay, so that's one calendar. This is tiny, but it's real close to me when I'm at my desk. The other thing that I really enjoy, this is a Heidi Swap um, stand. 
I think it was made originally for photos, but I decided to use it, use it as a calendar. And so what I'll do is I printed off her graphics and made them the size I wanted. I stamped um, the date, the um, years on here. I have a stamp set with these. And then the overlay, there's an overlay. See, there's the overlay with numbers. Okay. And it can change. Like I don't need 31 days. So I stuck a piece of post-it note there. <laughs> you can do a sticker or whatever. But what you do is every month you just you flip it up, move it over here. Oh, take, take this month off, close it, move everything over here, open it back up and put that month back in the back. So that it just rotates. So every November, apparently, every November, I go ahead and change the rest of the year. So then I've got the next year after December, I've got the whole other year set up already. Okay. Um, this is extras. I didn't need to use these. And there's a blank one just in case I need a new one. Um, yeah, it took, I don't know, it took a while to get all of the dates because not every month has the same number of days every year. So, you know, <laughs> Organization is the key to happiness. <laughs> if I can't find something, it makes me crazy. So I absolutely have to organize. That's just the way I am. Oh, yeah, OCD. Okay, fine. You know, whatever. Um, calendars everywhere. Everywhere, Galena. Everywhere. <laughs> I have to have them. Now, this was a purchase thing, but what you can do is. Okay, now what did I do with, I brought that bag in here. Let me see what I did with it. I brought it in here because I was going to show you something. Okay, hold on. I forgot to get that out last night. I got everything else ready before I went to bed, and then I, I messed up on that one. Dropped the ball. Uh, huh. Okay, well, I don't see them now. Uh, there are clear picture frames on on feet that stand up like this so you can get a picture frame and make your own like this you can get one of the tim holtz um, notebook parts and you can drill holes in your plastic and it's not not real difficult to make holes um depends on the thickness of it but it's not not real bad um but it can be done or you can just stick it on there. You don't have to. You don't even have to do that. You can just stick it on there. Uh, but yeah, you can use one of those picture frames, the clear picture frames that you slide your picture into, and there you go. Um, you can make your own. But like I said, this calendar website is absolutely gorgeous. I love that website, calendar-12.com. This site is Vertex42. Um, they have nice things too. Um, oh, I've got napkins in there. <laughs> that was a surprise. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here it is. Vertex42.com. I don't know if it's going to focus for us. There it goes. This light gray is between us. You can't see it very well. But this is the page I was on. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> Eileen says, you only need to look at the bottom of your lappy to know the date. Yeah, well, um, my lappy, you, you forget, my lappy is tiny. Okay, let me show you since it's, it's, it's pretty. <laughs> See, tiny, okay? There's you guys. Tiny, tiny. And to focus on that itty bitty date down there and time, uh-uh. Not happening. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> Way too small. <laughs> yeah, I had to wear glasses all the time to see stuff. So, <laughs> no, <laughs> not happening. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, anyway, I'm going to cut this sheet apart on the paper cutter and uh, make a little pad and then put it on my little stand. That is right to my left at the desk. All I have to do is look up and it's right there in my face. It's 
much easier to focus on, um, especially when the numbers are darker. So that's why I went with this one because these numbers on this site, the this this one here, see how 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 light they are compared to this one. So when I'm looking quickly, this is easier to see. So oh, the overlay. Okay, the overlay is made with this the um you can go to the office supply and get the inkjet printer transparencies okay inkjet printer transparencies and i just cut them up and punched holes in them and wrote on them with a sharpie so yeah it's it's real easy to do just use your paper cutter and cut them but you can only cut one page at a time because they're very slippy if you try to cut more than one you're going to mess it up so cut one page at a time on your paper cutter. But yeah, it's the inkjet printer transparencies. Yep. I meant to tell you that and I forgot. Thank you for asking. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna set that over there. Okay, so I've talked about this, I've talked about this. Okay, we're good there. All right. Um Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a bite of cheese. Um, I'm hungry right now. So I'm just gonna grab a piece of cheese while I'm hunting for this other thing. Oh, that's good. Smoky cheddar. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, I was gonna tell you the um the printer that I got the label printer. Let me show you that. Let me bring the box over. Okay, here's the label printer. And it lifts up and you put your roll of, um, there's stickers on a roll. You, know, you can't see those very well. Let me see if this is the better ones. Okay, then you can kind of see there. Okay, where the division is. So they're, they they come with um, different size stickers. Um, you have regular mailing labels, and these are like you can make your own tickets. You can make your own um, well anything you want to print. Okay, just basically anything you want to print. And what's in here now is the regular um, one and a quarter by two and whatever um, address labels for, you know, so you can print your own address labels one at a time. Uh, this hooks up to the computer, which I haven't had time to do yet. I've been really busy, um, but it hooks up to the printer and it's real easy to change the roll. And, you know, you've got different rolls and different sizes of labels and I haven't figured out how to do my own yet, but uh, that's a possibility. But it hooks up to your your uh, computer, and you just tell it what you want it to do. It has its own software, and then you just tear them off over here. Um, and like it's real easy that there's no snapping or anything. It just lifts up. It's real easy to operate. Um, the one I had was like 20 years old, and yes, you can stamp on the rolls. Yes, you can. Exactly. Um, got this on Amazon. It's from Dymo. Oops. <laughs> and they have different versions of it. Oh, it's upside down. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to eat my cheese. There. Label Writer 450. But it's really, really cool. And it, there's no ink involved. This is a laser. I mean, um, um, not a laser. What do they call it? Um, thermal. Thermal printer. Yeah. Really awesome. Thermal printer. So I'm going to enjoy the heck out of that. I can label everything. You know, okay, me and organization. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm hmm. You can, yeah. And you can, pro, I mean, you can uh, put graphics on your labels. Anything you can put in the computer can go on the label. Uh oh, that's something on the floor. I don't know what that was. I'm going to finish this piece of cheese. Hmm. Oh, there it is. I dropped the leg off of my glass mat. 
I like to keep these corner protectors on. But yeah, that little printer is going to be awesome. Let's finish this cheese. Mm. <laughs> Okay. Well, that, that's all my water. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Wow. Okay, so, um, Like I said, I'm not crazy about this paper, but <laughs> it's a dude. I mean, I'm probably going to be sticking a lot of stuff in here. I'm going to try not to do this, not to do all these post-it notes, but these were on the desk. I didn't want to rewrite the notes, okay, so I just stuck it in there. Now I'm going to put this on the page, too. And I remember, print at 75%. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, in the world of Xyron. Okay. I have discovered a small two and a half inch wide Xyron. Now, if I put something on top of the box already, naturally. So this little guy, another little machine. <laughs> I don't know where these things are going to live, but this is the two and a half inch Create a Sticker Mini, they call it. And a lot of times I just need, if I've got like a collage going on, I just need, you know, a little bit. And I have to scramble around trying to find something to fit in the bigger one so I don't waste the sticky. No, <laughs> this is much better. So this one has a little cartridge that slides right in, and of course you do it, you know, you put it in one side, it comes out the other side, and you just rip it off. There's no slidey thing on this one, you just tear it. There's some teeth, really jagged teeth in there, so watch your fingers. And then I got, went ahead and got a refill, so I wouldn't have to worry about that. So that's what the refill looks like, a little cartridge. Oops, glare, sorry. That's what that looks like. So that's going to be fun. So I have a two and a half, I have a five inch, and I have the nine inch. <laughs> I'm all set with Xyron. Now these are set to the side over here, and then I can get to them easily. Okay, let me see. Um, I don't know if we're going to actually do any arting today. I uh, mainly wanted to show y'all stuff. Um, I've got some, let's see, I finished a couple of, oh, let me put that back over the glare. Bothers me. I can see it up there. Okay, there. And I see it's staying focused with this. That's good. That's good. Okay. All right, let me grab something out of the closet. Hold on. <clears throat> Small avalanche. Oh, there's the frame. Oh. <laughs> now I find them. Okay. Figures. Okay, so I have some finished pieces of diamond painting that I wanted to show you all real quick. Let me see if I can get this mess unmet, un <laughs> untangled here. So you can actually see. I got a dry cleaner bag over the hanger. And one of the diamond painting ladies that I watch on YouTube got a pants hanger. And let me tell you, this is fantastic for hanging these, these diamond paintings. See the all the sections that it has. Okay, so this one is Lunar Eclipse. And I gotta flip it over for the other ones. But um, this one is done waiting for a frame sale. And then 
Set these here. This one, uh, I think the other one is cherry blossoms. This one is, um, I don't know, it's just like a park with a pond. It's really neat. It's 12 by 16, so it's not real big, but it's nice. Oh, he's upside down. Oops. The other one might be upside down too. But they're upside down too. Okay, so we're going to be turning <laughs> this situation here. All right, let's turn it over the other way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Be challenging the camera here to keep up with me. Okay, this one's like cherry blossoms or something, but the, the two of these go together, and there's a, a slightly bigger one that goes with that. So there's three of them, and those are going to be for mom. And this one is for her also. She doesn't know anything about this one. This one is the hummingbird. Now, I was disappointed in the color at the edge of these flowers because you can't really see it. So what I might do is uh, redo some of this, the coloring here on the edges of the flowers, because it just really didn't come out like what it looks like on the picture. Because um, on the picture, you can actually see the edges of the flowers, and they're a little, a little brighter. But I, this one I was kind of disappointed in. Uh, the quality of the kit was great, but the picture itself I was kind of disappointed in it, that you lost the edges of the flowers. You can't really see them very well. They show up better on the camera than they do in real life, but I mean, you can kind of see the you know delineation here, but it's still not as defined as I'd like it. So I may go in and take some of these color, the darker like lavenders, and you know redo the edge of the flowers to make it look like I want it to look. So that's the latest one that's finished, and then I've got one more that I'm in progress right now. Let's see if I can pick up everything without scratching the glass. There we go. Oh, I guess we're not, <laughs> we shouldn't have to worry about scratching the glass, right? Okay, so then here's this one. So this is water and the reflection to the sky. And it's about two thirds done. I've just got this strip up here to do. So this one's almost done. This one's square. Those other ones were round. This one is square. <laughs> oh, yeah, Karen. Um, I do both. I prefer the squares, but you can't always get squares. But let's see if it'll focus. There it goes. Look how shiny. Focus on the squares. They're so cool. I love doing this. It takes my mind off of things. It's like doing needle point or cross stitch or anything like that. Except no thread, <laughs> no counting. You're, you're reading what's already there. So there's no counting, which is cool. It's a really nice, really nice hobby. I really enjoy it. Yep, really nice hobby. And I've got um, more things coming, more kits coming. So I've got more diamond painting to do. And I still want to do a, a tip technique video for all of the, like how I set up my beads and trays and whatnot. I'll get all that done eventually. Um, I probably won't be live when I do it because it's going to take a lot of setup. Um, that might be one I'm going to have to edit the video. I usually don't edit my videos, but I may have to for that one. We'll see how that goes. Okay, who wants to play with Tim Holtz stuff? I want to try some of the uh, techniques. Okay, pick up the glare. Okay, I want to try some of the techniques that I've seen people doing with these, and see if I can get it to come out. I'm just going to pick some random colors. Okay, so I'm going to pick three random colors. All right, now I've got some watercolor paper scraps over here. Okay, I've got my watercolor paper scraps. I'm going to need a spray bottle. Okay, spray bottle. And what do I want? I need baby wipes. Over here. 
Good wipes. Um, let's see, paper towels would be good. Where is the towel? Oh, there it is. Up here. I forgot to put these on the shelf. <laughs> nice. Okay, as you can see, I've been using them for all the displays. Okay, so let me open the inks. I'm going to have to build a little shelf for these to go into because I don't think I have anything at the moment that will work. Now, I don't know a whole lot about these oxides, so this is totally playing around and experimenting. And I may put some in my journal. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so let me get a piece of this. Now it's te more textured on this side. I'll use this side. So I'm going to play with this for a minute. And I'm just going to rub over this, pick up the texture. Marmalade. That was fired brick. This is orange marmalade. I love rust, so maybe we'll go with that. <laughs> Try to make rust. Hmm. Those lids don't fit as well. The plastic is different. They're a little harder to open. Huh. Well, we'll go with it. All right, I think doing it this way will be easier. There we go, that's easier to put them on. Okay, and this is frayed burlap. Okay, so let me see if I can move that just a minute. I'll cover the glare with this. <laughs> okay, I don't wanna get everything totally, let me see if this is even gonna spray. There it goes. Okay, so I'm just gonna spray this for a minute and see what happens. Okay, so it's mingling. And yeah, it moves. And they say to let it air dry. But I'm going to hurry it. Because <laughs> we don't have time to wait for it to air dry. <laughs> Ooh, I have an idea. Before that dries, I have an idea if I can find what I'm looking for real quick. Ah, this will work. This will work. Okay, let's put some. This is not cheesecloth, but it's gauzy. So I'm thinking just to play with texture. Okay, let's see how that works. Oh, hey, we could use that. Huh? Let's set that aside. <laughs> Do that again later. All right, now let me dry this real quick. Now, from what I remember, these things are supposed to react with each other, but you have to let it dry naturally for it to get the most effect. If I'm remembering that correctly. <laughs> oh, Jen did some last night. Oh, she streamed last night? Oh, I had no idea. I had company. I had no idea. Okay. All right, we're getting there. I'm going to help it a little bit. Bastard. And this is watercolor paper, so. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh my goodness, Galena. She is getting, oh geez, she's so big. She's going to be walking by herself before too long. 
goodness gracious. Okay, let me wipe this up a bit. I'll get it in my sleeves. Okay. So now we've got this, and it's pretty dry. It's not real dry, but it's pretty dry. So it kind of looks rusty. Okay, let me see. What else do I think I should do with it? Um, all right, I had my hands on an envelope that had stamps in it last time, and I set it down on the floor. Ah, there it is. Okay. So I have some Diane Reevely stamps. And I have some, let's see. Yeah, these are Finn stamps, okay. And there's another set. Okay. All right, now, what if, okay, stamp blocks. Oh, what did I do with the stamp blocks? Oh, there they are. I can't get to them. Because <laughs> I dusted this and then I covered it. I'm still having the dust issues while the construction. I'm glad when they finish that, I keep making a mess out there. Okay, I'm just going to grab the big one because it's easier to reach. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is do some random, just put the stamps on randomly. Let's do that. Which side comes off? This side. Ah, these things. Okay, so I'm going to do just some random. Oh, provided I can get them off of this plastic. Uh oh. Oh, this is not good. Oh, they're very stuck. Remember those, those Graphic 45 stamps that were so stuck and everybody kept ripping them? Yeah, this is what this feels like. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to have to nuke it and get them off of there. Okay, so that's not going to work. Let's put that down. <laughs> that's not going to work. Next. I don't know what happened to that. That was, hmm, odd. Okay, which side is going to come off on this one? Okay, this side. Let's see if I can get these off. I'm going to have to nuke them, too. I wonder if they got hot in shipping. Okay, I think I can get this one off. Well, these are new people, so I've never taken them off. These are new. Okay, random. Random stampage. Oh, I don't want to rip them, so I gotta be careful. These are coming off, though. I have to stick those other ones in the microwave. We have no sun at the moment. We have rain again. Let me see. Let me do a circle. Yeah, let me get it off. Oh my goodness. Because I could just open the stamp drawer and get some out, you know, but I want to use the new ones. <laughs> I want to use the new ones. Ooh, this one has music on it. I like that. Provided I can get it off. Wow. Okay. There we go. Okay, there's a circle with music. And let's get this butterfly. I want five things. Let's see if I can get this butterfly. Okay, I'm going to put him that way. All right, that will do for the moment. Okay, yeah, that'll fit. Okay, now, let me see if I have this walnut. Or should I use the regular, Eileen, should I use the regular Distress ink? Instead of an oxide for the stamping part? Since I've not done this before. With these oxides, I don't know how that works. Waiting for answer. Meanwhile, I will look for the uh, regular pad. Box 
it. There you are. Use a dye ink. Okay. Oh, so, oh, 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 I see. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so archival, would this work? Get my hands on that real quick. The archival, that work, yes? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's see if we can get this to uh, ink up. And I need a practice sheet. I have to pull something out of the bin. We've been, never been stamped before, so it's going to be. I need to do a test. So I'll just pull a catalog out of a recycle bin. I always find it difficult to stamp on this tall counter. Oh, the distress inks will bleed if the paper is damp or gets wet. Oh, right. Okay, I think that's going to work. All right. Good. Back in the bin. Okay, now let's see. Although I may have to take this. You know, I should be using my stamp thingy. My platform, right? Tim Holtz Inc. I should be using my stamp platform. <laughs> I didn't think of it till just now. Center of that didn't get ink on it. There we go. Okay. All right. I'm be too picky there. Okay. I'm going to grab my foam sheet I stamp on. And I'm going to try to put enough pressure. I don't know if I can do it from because this my counter is like 40 some odd inches tall and my shoulders don't let me push really hard from up here. So um, this may not work, but if it's distressed, that's OK. I can always use it for something. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. I still didn't get the center of that one, but that's pretty good. I'm going to have to pay more attention and push on that a little bit more. That's a user error. I got ink on it that time, though. <laughs> There's the tip to make sure I get it. You can kind of see where the ink goes. And where it doesn't. Yeah, like the middle of this stamp is really detailed, and so it's kind of hard to. Let's see, let me do this one this way. I have no idea what I'm going to make out of this, but that's okay. We're just making a background. Okay, let me see if I can push really extra hard on that big round one. Okay. Yeah, this is really bad for my shoulders. <laughs> I have to do this lower down. This is like way too tall. I can't get much pressure. Okay, that'll work. <laughs> I smeared it a little bit, but that's okay. That'll work. It'll do, it'll do. All right, let's cross this real quick. I don't clean my stamps. I just, you know, I pat them off. Not much point in cleaning them. Okay, now I've got this. Um, I'm gonna do, what have I got here? This tiny one right here. And these are the dilution things. I've used some of these already. But I've not used this one. And I've got the bigger version of these as well. I have a lot of her stamps. Okay, let me grab this other log. This is an old one. <laughs> and it's not supposed to be straight, straight. Okay, that'll do. So I'm going to put a border around it. Maybe it'll be kind of tag. I don't know. It'll probably end up in my book, my journal. And it's not been stamped before, so I've got to test it. Make sure. 
Oh, yeah. So, I never have trouble with her stamps. I'm trying not to get this black ink on me because it won't come off for a couple of days. <laughs> and I'm going somewhere tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to put a little border on the edge of this. Oh, come on. And I will go over it with black and white later. I love this little border, it's so cute. <laughs> it's so very cute. Okay, let's just do open end this one. No, this one. It fits together if you if you look at it. I'll get my hair in the camera, but that's okay. I have to be able to see. Yes, I love her border stamps. Oh yeah, I did good. Fit right together. Awesome. Where's a better if I'd had the right stamp block, it'd be easier, but I can still see. So we're good. Yeah, I missed a little bit right there, but that's okay. I can cover that up with a pen. Okay. Let's put one on this side. Let's use a different one. I haven't bought it off on here. I've done it before. <laughs> Not like I can't buy more foam. I just don't have a scratch sheet out here. I have a clipboard with, with a piece of this on there that I usually use to stamp. Oh, here we go. Let's use this one. Two, there's two real tiny ones on here. I wasn't thinking about borders when I was putting the stamps on them. Yay! I normally just, you know, scribble my own borders, but we're stamping, so let's stamp. I should move it. I can't see. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yeah, I got it a little farther from the edge than I wanted, but that's okay. I can always do something else on that edge. All right, I'm going to move this for a minute because I can't see. I should have put it in the middle so I could see it really well. That's better. Okay, now I've got to position it so that it's about the same space from the dot. All right, now other side. And this way, because I need the dot. Right about there. Okie dokie. Yeah, looks good. Okay. Now, let's see what else pops into my head. What to do next? <laughs> I don't really know. I want to use the circles. I used this one before. I love these little tiny circles. Funky circles. Love this one. <laughs> My ink pad's getting a little dry. Okay, let's turn it this way. Alright, so I want to go. Yeah, I'm going to go across it. Tell you what, I'm going to put a post-it note because I don't want that one to come out, but I've already inked it. I'm going to stick a post-it note on there. Why did I think? I moved my, oh, there it is. I moved my pad and I can't find it. Ah, I've got a block. Okay, let me stamp it off and then stick the post-it note there because I don't want that circle to come off. Okay. This, these fit between. There we go. Yeah, that's what I wanted. All right. <laughs> okay, now the other side. So this is probably going to get cut. Oh, I just made a mess out of that. Let me move it. Let 
and oops, don't put on the bottom there. On the edge. Okay, that looks good. All right, now save that one. This piece of junk mail and blot it off. A lot of ink on that one side. Okay. <clears throat> Back in the recycling. Now what I wish I had was a little tiny circle. I guess like I can always draw circles later. Okay. Yeah, I love this stamp set. It's so cool. Oh, there, the printing was on that side. <laughs> That's a cool set. Really like that. Okay, now let me bring my paper cutter up here. I'll just use my little one. And for some reason, I want to cut this edge. I don't know why. I'm just going to follow whatever pops into my head. Same thing over here. I'm not even measuring or anything, so I don't, don't even know what length this is. All right, scraps you then. I don't keep scraps that small usually. Okay, so now I want to do some edging. And like I said, I have no idea what this is going to be. <laughs> really don't have a clue. Um, okay, there's uh, the um, micro, what do you call that, sir? Microglaze. Microglaze. What will that do to this, Eileen? The microglaze? If I put microglaze over the oxides, what will that do? First, I'm going to ink edges. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See my <laughs> of the threads hanging off of this pad. <laughs> new one I haven't opened it yet. But this one's not bothering me that bad, but I'm gonna have to trim that one. That was kinda long. Okay. Now it's telling me what does it want to do? It wants to find I can't find. Um, oh, wait. There's one. <laughs> Same with the microglaze. Microglaze. These guys. Oh, hey, I got an idea. <laughs> Since I have this out, I got an idea. Kind of sort of in alphabetical order. There it is. Can you find the little R? I need tweezers. <laughs> Get it out. I want that one, people. <laughs> there.
I use these things for something sometime. All right now I want celery. Okay, there we go. Does that work? There we go. I guess I'm making a sign. <laughs> oh, have I lost chat again? I can't see. Nothing has moved for a while. Let me see. Let me check the web page. Nope, I can't tell. Okay, you're still moving. Everything's good. Okay, somebody type something, please. I can't tell if I need to refresh the chat because it's not, it hasn't moved for a while. I wasn't paying attention because I was busy. <laughs> busy, busy. Okay, oh, I don't want to glue those on yet. I want a marker. If I can find one, I want. Let's use a Tombow. Let's see if that works. Let's put an edge on here. Well, it doesn't work as well as my other marker, but I can't find it right now. So I'm going to put a black edge on these. Oh, thank you. Okay, chat's working. Just for, we're all zoning here. Oh, yeah. It's raining again. I can't believe this. Oh, it has got to stop. Better not rain tomorrow. We have a show to go to. We go to this church bazaar every year. And it just seems to get bigger and bigger every year. But hopefully they'll have something we've never seen before. I kind of doubt it, but you know, I can always hope. And it's fun. Kind of kicks off the Christmas Christmas spirit. Oh yeah, Eileen, I had a, yeah, I did have a question about microglaze. Um, this is one I already have. I don't have Tim's, but I had this one already. What what does that do when you put it over the oxides? Does it have a reaction? I saw somebody had microglaze with them and I don't know what they were doing. I don't remember. Yeah, this Tombow doesn't work, the, the uh, ink doesn't work as well as the India ink, which is, that's the marker I was looking for, my Faber-Castell. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> we'll find it together. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put that microglaze on there and see what happens. And, because um, it has to dry so that I can come back and do these letters after that. Oh, get these little pinky tweezers away before I stick myself. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use, uh, do the microglaze on here. I'm going to move my foam sheet though. I really don't want to get it on there. And yeah, that's the right path. But I guess I didn't need that one. Okay, this is old, but it's still really good. I've used it on other things, so it's still good. And I don't know about anybody else, but I like to dig in there and get it and then rub it off onto the something else. All right, I'm going to start on this end and see what happens. Well, it might be my imagination, but it looks like it's brightening a little bit. 
Not sure. Oh, this smells good. <laughs> it really does. That smells really cool. Well, no Amazon yet, darn it. I was hoping they bring my happy mail so I could open it on on stream. Okay, well, I can't really tell if it's doing anything. Like a sealer, so the, okay, so it's kind of like a sealer, so the oxides won't react again, but I'm not completely sure. Okay, Karen. Yeah, you could be right. That might be what I'm, what I'm remembering too, because I watched Tim's videos, you know, from CHA and, uh, yeah, that might be what I'm thinking too. So let's, since I've got some on the edges, I'm going to smooth it down and we'll seal that too. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Okay, good. Then I can collage over the top of it. Put my letters on the top. Okay, I'm going to wipe this. Yeah, I'm going to wipe some of this stuff up. Okay, I'm going to put this in a, a basket. Okay, baby, do I have... Some more with this glaze up. I kind of like this mat. I don't use it a lot, but I do like it. And it's really doing well focusing the camera. <laughs> that last video I made, I had had some uh, issues with it buzzing for a minute or so because the white background was causing problems. Okay, cool and dry. Check it out. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so next step, I want to go ahead and finish the letters. And I think I want to placement something like that. But yeah, I wish I could find my India ink marker, but I can't. So we're just going to do it this way. So, um, almost two weeks ago now, we, oops, ah, oh, bummer, we <laughs> cat sit the grand kitty, ah, bummer again, okay, I guess I'm going to doodle on this one, um, <laughs> that was, I guess, supposed to happen, I guess I'll be doodling on these, um, yeah, and he, uh, He's a totally black cat, no white spots at all, just like the cat I had, KC. And this kitty's name is Shadow. And I'd forgotten he was here because he went to take a nap for like three hours and I forgot he was here. And so <laughs> I'm reading my book on the computer and... I see this big black thing coming at me at the side of my, the side of my eye, <laughs> and I jump. <laughs> he looks at me like, what's the matter with you? <laughs> I forgot he was here. Of course, you know, he comes up on cat feet. I didn't hear him. I just saw this big black thing coming at me. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it was fun having him here, but I really, I, I don't want a cat. I'm not ready. There's still too many things that, that we want to do. Um, and if we move again, I don't want to have to move a cat too. Bad enough, i got to move all this stuff in here in the studio. Ugh.
Yeah, this pin is harder to use than the other one. I moved the, I made another booby. I moved the box, the container that I had up here on the counter so I'd have more counter space. I moved it over to the side of the room. And so now when I look for something, I have to walk over there and look for it. And I forget to do it. I'll get used to it eventually. Oh shoot, I keep making mistakes with this one. This pen is driving me crazy. That's okay, I'll be doodling over the top. We're just gonna do it. <laughs> Two more letters. I wanted more of a line on the top of the letters, but this pen's not doing it. It's just getting it inside. The other brush is a little different on that India ink marker. This one's really stiff. And so it doesn't give to allow me to do a different kind of edge. The other one kind of overlaps onto the front. I mean, I can do it, but I have to physically do it with this one. So I guess I will. If that's the look I want. Yeah, I like that much better. All right, so I'm gonna have to go back and do it from the front. Y'all probably can't see the difference, but I can. So yeah, really gotta find that marker. Oh, pretty. I see I keep making errors with this one because it's so stiff. That's okay, it's supposed to be grungy anyway. Real deal. A lot more time to do it with this marker. I hear a truck. Nope, not Amazon. <laughs> oh, pretty, what a mistake. This is taking forever. Sorry, guys. But the muse said, <laughs> do this. So I'm going to listen. I'm paying attention. Who's got their Christmas shopping finished? Me. <laughs> I have been shopping up a storm. I wanted to get done early before they didn't have stuff I wanted, which happens if I don't shop early. One more. <laughs> I 
letting my nails grow out. I don't know why. But when they get in the way, I'm chop them off. Bye, Sophia. Thanks for stopping by. Sorry, guys. I'm getting a little quiet. Sometimes I just move the pen. <laughs> Well, speaking of pens, I wanted to show you guys the Echo Line. I made a color chart. Okay, I'm going to let those guys dry before I glue. And then while that's drying, I can show you the Echo Line. Hey, Joycey! Okay, let me move these guys up here. Okay, so I got the set. The largest set they sell is 30 colors. And, uh, <clears throat> Start playing in a coloring book. I'm not real happy with the results so far, but okay. So here is the color chart with the Echo Line 30 set. They have 59 colors altogether. So here's the color chart. So what I did was I did half of the circle all the way through, let it dry completely, came back later. And then use the water brush on the bottom third to pull the color, and it still works. It works well. Um, the line, however, is still there. So I'm thinking not to let it dry completely because, and the reds are worse, the worst. So you can still see that line, even though I pulled it out. See, this one blended pretty well, but the reds are the worst. You can still see the line. So once it's completely dry, it may not bleed all the way out. You might still see your edges. So you have to watch that. So basically I have 28 colors plus black plus a blender. But there were 30 pins in the pack. Um, and the second layer, um, I did a, a, a second layer across in the center of each circle and you can see how it got darker. So it does layer. They do layer very well. So I'm liking them. They're they're juicy. Um, let me get another scrap over here, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, they're they're very juicy. Um, I like the response on the tip. You can do lots of lots of marks, and it's best if you do if you color in an area if you want to color. Um, wider without overlapping too much, it comes out smoother. Is that pretty smooth? Okay, and if you uh, go over it again, it's going to get darker in the overlapped area, just like any other marking pen. But if you take your water pen, your uh, water brush, Take your water brush and blend it while it's still damp. You can get rid of 
that line. Okay. Didn't have a whole lot of water coming out of there. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> It stayed overnight and it didn't. Oh, I need some more water in there. It did. It, yeah, what is going on now? It's not coming out. Come on, brush. Okay. So anyway, um, I like these a lot. Now I had a set of the Windsor Newton watercolor brushes when they came out. Did not like them. I gave those to my granddaughter. I did not like them. I could not get them to blend. I could not get no matter what paper I tried or what brush I used, I could not get it to work. Okay, so let's t let's take a color that's right close to this one. Okay. All right. So I use the marker to blend, and it does pretty well. Um, I'll show you in a second. Let me get this the, another color. But to blend it, I'd rather use the lighter of the colors or another color altogether to blend it. Uh, if you don't use a water brush, you can also use make sure that's what I want, a lighter color to blend it. So yes, they will blend. Um, they do pretty well. Um, but like I said, the water. Works the best while they're still damp. And I'm still not getting a lot of water out of this brush. I don't know what is going on. Having all kinds of malfunctions this morning. <laughs> okay, so here's an example. Let me tilt it toward the light. My screen looks kind of dark. I guess I can see okay. But yeah, but I like that. Now the clean colors. Okay, here's here's the zig clean color. Okay. Um, this one's kind of drying out. This one, the brush is real soft on these. The brush is very, very soft. Um, of course I don't. I should have put the lighter down first. Okay, and then. I like the way these can blend, and if you use a a palette, okay, um, it's much much better. I'm not getting much water out of this thing. Let me get the other one. That was driving me crazy. It needs water. <laughs> Let's try this one. It's full. Let's try this one. Have a look. Oh, that's more water. There we go. That's much better. Okay, so yeah, the trick is to get it while it's damp and then sometimes I even get my fingers in it. That works well too. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. So the clean color, they're both they're both great. I love them both. Um, I love the clean color. And they have really tiny spots. Like, like Didi was saying, I, was it Monday stream or Wednesday stream? Uh, when she was coloring. Um, she said you can get into the tiny spots with these. And yes, it's perfect for that. All those little tiny details that I like. And all the little little tiny spaces. It's this, These are perfect um, for that. Um, but I like to use them in the palette, and then you can uh, mix your own. So I'll go into this one, I'll go into that one, and mix. Yeah, so that's. I think that's probably my favorite way. Instead of using it straight from the brush, I'll I'll do it in a in a palette or on you know just something. It doesn't have to be this thing. Tim Holtz, of course, that's his fault. <laughs> Whoopsie. 
but um, I think that's probably my favorite way to use them. But the I, I like the softness of the brushes because you can get really, really, really tiny. And the zigs have uh, very pale colors. Um, and I like that because you don't have to mix your color first. Um, now this is not very, this is not very uh, good, so don't laugh at my coloring. But I was testing the markers on direction. Okay, so I was using one of these greens for this little elf guy. And you can see definitely see the lines, and I use no water with this part of it, no water on his face or, or his body. Um, but I was just going all over the place trying to see if it would leave marker lines, and yes, it does. Um, and I did the same thing over here, except mo I mostly went this way. And then I added a little water on this side to try to blend it in, um, get rid of those marks. And I'm going to try right now to see, because it's been drying for a while. So I'm going to see what it will do um, if I try to blend this out now. See, this is where you could use the pencil to go over because I don't think this is going to work. I mean, it's moving the color around, but it's not really blending it. So yeah, this, so this is where I would go back over it with pencil um, instead of trying to, to do a smooth watercolor base. So, so all this is base coated so far. Um, it's just base coated. This right here is the clean color brush marker, um, and I used two other greens for the leaves and the grass, and then I was using three colors for the, these flowers. I think it's the echinacea flower. That's what I typed in Google and got a picture of an echinacea because I didn't know what it looked like. Um, so there's like a golden yellow and a fuchsia pink, well, let's see what this is called, Al almond pink, number 200. And then this one is wine red, number 24. Uh, for the um, round part of the flower. And so what I was going to do with pencil is come back and do, you know, do the, the shading and everything. Um, so I did a second coat of that same color on these flowers down at the base. And I think the pencil is going to show up, but I wanted that yellow, that golden yellow, to be pretty... Pretty, um, let's see if I can get this up here so you can see a little bit better. It should be pretty solid, so. But I saw the, the color with the fuchsia in the next to the cone, and I, oh yeah, I like that color. I don't know if, how common that is, but I like that, so I did it that way. So he's going to be a Christmas elf. So, see there's a little gold bell on his, on his top there, and a ladybug. Uh, or a ladybird, wherever it depends on where you're from, um, <laughs> up there. And so I will continue to do the flowers and stuff, but let that dry before I do the pencil. Let me pencil over the top. So I want to see how the pencil is going to blend out. You see how this is the zig, and you see how it. You can see all the brush marks and everything. I mean, I was trying to be kind of sort of consistent on how I did it, but I kind of you know just kind of scribbled around over here. In different directions but this I was kind of trying to be more consistent on how I put it down so I want to see how the pencil is going to cover this and this book is oh sorry this book is uh, Clara Markova uh, magical delights I always have to put the English on the inside because I can't remember what that means <laughs> but this is a new one I don't think I've done anything in here yet I think that's the only thing I've done I've marked some things um, that I want to do first but I haven't actually done them yet and then, of course, I was doing this test. So I like her books because they're, um, you know, single-sided pages. And I really like that. And you can do your tests over here sometimes and make sure that's the color you want it. Because the caps of the markers, you can't really tell what it is. But I like the Echo line a lot. They're nice and juicy. I like the feel of the brush. Um, 
I'm enjoying, you know, using them so far. Um, I haven't done a whole lot because I just got them, but um, I really, really, really like them. Uh, much better than any of the others I've had. Okay, so I had Winsor Newton. Didn't like those at all. Um, I have not tried the Derwent ones. Oh, what are you talking about? Um, oh, watercolor pencils. Oh, I see. Yes, I have. I have lots of those too. But <laughs> so on my little Dollar Tree cookie sheets, this fits perfectly, and this will go into a drawer in my iris carts. Oh, I was going to tell y'all about the iris carts. They they're not making them the same. Um, I think this is the third or fourth generation since I've had my original iris carts. And the iris cart, so these are the ones that have the drawers, the plastic drawers. Let me pull here. I've got the closest one pull it out for you. you can see. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. The drawers. See, they're clear drawers. Okay. And they're yay deep. I'm not sure you can see. <laughs> but uh, this, uh, when I've got, um, and I started doing this when we had the cat. Because I didn't want him to disturb my beads and have them flying all over the place. But I started putting in the, the trays that I have will fit in the old style drawers. These are the old style. The new ones won't fit. However, the plastic ones that I got for separating all of my collage work, at um, those will fit in the new drawers. So you just have to watch your measurements. These trays I got at Dollar Tree. They're cookie sheets. Yeah, they're small cookie sheets, of course, a dollar for a pack of two, I think. So they were like 50 cents each. I don't know if they still have them. It's been a while since I've purchased any. I love them because for a while I had all of my, um, the rubber stamps that were on wood blocks. Uh, I still have one drawer of rubber stamps still on blocks, but I've pulled the stamps off of, of most of the blocks. And I, I buy mostly, you know, the, the clear acrylics or the, the ones like um, unmounted, you know, I just buy unmounted uh, rubber stamps. But um, yeah, so I had rubber stamps on the trays and they would stack three in a drawer. And so I could see all of my, I could pull each tray out and I could see all the stamps all at once. It was cool. Really enjoyed doing that. But now I've got all these trays and I use them for everything else. Um, I'll put projects on them. They're, they're, uh, they're not aluminum, they're metal. They're actually metal. And so magnets will stick to them. So on the bottom of my trays, I have magnets. And so when I um, do, you know, put all my beads out like that, um, it sticks and they don't move. I mean, it's, I'm less likely to have beads flying all over the place. So, yeah. But these fit just perfectly, and that's all I need. I think I don't think I need any more colors unless I can get a, maybe a flesh tone. Um, I don't know, but I have so many markers, and I have all the Tombows, and you know, a whole set of Tombows. And this has, there's uh, flesh colors in the Tombows, so you know, I can do the same thing with the palette with the Tombows because they're water, water based. Um, they're not watercolor, but they're water based, and so they work the same way. Um, hey, Lori. Julie. <laughs> yeah, so pretty cool. I I wish I had more time in the day to do all the ideas that pop into my head. Um, but that's where these books come in. Um, I like to write everything down because if I don't, I forget. You know, I can't remember, you know, from I, five minutes and I'm, oh, what was I going to look up on Google? <laughs> yeah. So that's where all of this comes in, where I'm writing everything down. And I'm, I'm, uh, this is a, the bullet journal pages. And so when I've got my ideas going like this, I don't need to put this in my daily journal. Um, I would prefer that they were in, uh, this kind of format. Um, now I've got the signatures. Uh, yeah, I restitched them. They already had holes. I just restitched them together, so I have all my signatures. I pull the signatures out of a out of a bullet journal, uh, a blank bullet journal that has the dots. Okay, so I pulled them out and I restitched them together, and uh, 
I can always, you know, take them apart and rearrange them or whatever I want to do and stitch the whole book together. So I figured when I get through with, you know, I fill one of these up and I get enough of them, I can make a whole book. So it's all still all together. And then I can store it on the shelf beside the Moleskinas because it's all the same size, about the same size, and they'll fit really nicely. Yeah. So, shoo. I'm tired, guys. <laughs> I don't know how long I've been here, but I think I'm wiped. I need to go get something to eat. Um, yeah, so we did a little art. We didn't do too much art, but we did a little art. So I'll finish this up. I don't know where this is going to go, but I will probably mount it on stiff mat, the mat board like you do for picture framing. I have some scraps of mat board and I have some black, so I will probably mount that and then hang it up on the wall above my clock over there once I glue this on there. Yep, that's probably what this is going to do. And I'll, I'll do some doodling up with my uh, white pins. I've got Posca pins and all that kind of stuff. So I'll do some doodling on that and I'll show y'all when it's done. <sighs> but right now, I think I'm out of here. So, appreciate y'all stopping by. And yeah, I think I'm going to be doing Fridays. Thursdays are impossible for me to stream. I, there's always something going on now on Thursdays. Everybody wants me to do something. And it's just it's just worked out that way. It's been that way, actually, for years. But I thought I'd try the Thursdays. Didn't work. So I'm going back to Friday mornings. Now, I don't know if I'll be 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock. I haven't decided that. I thought I'd try the 9 o'clock today. And see, so maybe that was okay. I don't know. Uh, I may go back to 10. I don't know. I'll let y'all know what I decide. I haven't made up my mind. <laughs> but I do have, um, I did get an Amazon associate account started. And I'm going to try to get that set up so you guys can just hit the links. And then I can make a little money, you know, support my habit. My husband's retiring next year, so I won't be able to, to spend like this. <laughs> After he's retired, because uh, uh not gonna work. Yeah. So, um, oh, hi, Kimberly. Just leaving. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go have some lunch. It's after 11, and I'm starving. I got up early, so I'm gonna go eat. And I appreciate y'all stopping by, and I'll see y'all next week. Bye.